Oliver Syngenta, the Swiss agricultural chemicals and seeds company, is making nice with its shareholders. Remind us what they did to make them angry in the first place. What they did to make them angry was tell Monsanto to go away. Monsanto, the big uh, U.S. agricultural business, uh, made various bid approaches over the, earlier this year for Syngenta, all of which uh, Syngenta were rebuffed, and now Monsanto has dropped its interest. Unsurprisingly, the, share price, the Syngenta share price dropped quite heavily. Monsanto had offered 470 Swiss francs. Syngenta shares dropped towards 300 sort of marks. So, uh, well, I'd be uh, mad too. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you'd be so, mad. what are you? What are they going to do about this pr little problem? So they've come out today with a, a way to create value. And the way they're going to do this is they've put their vegetable seeds business up for sale. Mm -hmm. And they're going to use the proceeds of that to buy back shares, about $2 billion worth. Now, the, the vegetable seeds business is not a huge part of Monsanto. It's, it's a relatively small part of the business. That's Syngenta, a, you mean? Of Syngenta, sorry, yes. That said, it is a, a, a high margin part of Syngenta's mm -hmm. business. So it, it will be losing the, the uh, good margin business. Yeah. So uh, here's the punchline. What does Lex think about these moves? Do they indeed create value? Well, I wonder whether we would be sitting here talking about this if Monsanto hadn't made its approaches at all. Syngenta at the start of this year obviously thought it had the right strategy in place and the right portfolio in place. Suddenly now it's selling one of its businesses. Now, Syngenta's management says that this all fits in perfectly with its strategy and that for various reasons the vegetable seeds business doesn't fit in with the other seed businesses which it owns, although mm. it's also trying to sell its flowers business. Nevertheless, it says it's, it's not a, a core part strategically, uh, and so they, they can sell this and it, it all fits in perfectly well. But I do wonder if really it is part of the plan or if it's just a reaction to try and make shareholders a little happier. And of course, Lex is always mildly skeptical of the buyback, not to say strongly skeptical, we think there's appropriate times for buybacks, but it is sort of an admission that you don't know where the growth is coming from. Right? Yeah, so, it is. It's where, an admission. where your next investment is. Yeah, I mean, they say that it, they think their share price is undervalued and, and this is therefore a good use of their money to buy back these shares and demonstrate that it's a good investment at these levels. But, but yes, you're right to be skeptical about it. It doesn't really create much new value a share buyback. It just, it just returns cash to some shareholders who sell their shares. Everyone else ends up with a bigger a slice of a smaller pie. So no better or worse off, really. Thanks, Oliver.